You know exactly what's going on here. Hey, it's me. The fat fuck behind the camera. Yeah. Of course, you know, I did, I did an intro like a while ago. My name, my name is Jonathan. Uh, okay, Stun's John, where the John comes from. 19, about to be 20 this year. It's kind of sad knowing that play games for a part of my life, but whatever. If you watched last time, you saw the Wiley Tech Roar and all that stuff. You know, he for surgery for a couple of reasons why. And the guys said you wanted to watch some vlogs. And, you know, I, I try my best. This episode is going to be like a voiceover. I'm not really trying to put a camera over my, my family's face and all that stuff. You know, I'm not, I'm not really that type of person to do that. When we first landed, uh, there was an old lady sitting next to me. It wasn't that great of a flight, in honesty, as I am very socially awkward and not social anxiety, I guess, but I'm not really diagnosed to the point where I didn't want to bother her in any way so it was it was a kind of a pain I landed but we couldn't go to Banyos right off the bat as because Banyos was a four hour drive and no one else could take the Banyos. So I went with my mom's uncle Gijo and stayed at his house in Apato. We went around Apato central city to take some sightseeing. Now, if you're wondering why they call it baños, you know, bathroom and all that stuff, it's because when the Spanish conquistadors came over, they only took baths here in baños because the heat from the volcano caused hot springs and were for them to take nice warm baths day in, day out. It is Friday, May 31st. Uh, we're going to go out and do some fishing. Maybe do something a little different. I'm trying to be more active than usual, and we'll see you later.
we went fishing and fishing here is very different per se like you, know, you can't go to some random place get a fishing net all that stuff no it's more of a tourist attraction kind of thing you get a bamboo and a stick and just catch a fish and you eat said fish right there and then and it's kind of fun it reminds me of my childhood when my parents used to do it with me and it's really it really brings up the, the brings me out but the scenery just heading towards it just is amazing and it's fun to look at Plus, you see, you know, dog head mountain because <laughs> it looks like a fucking dog head. I don't know why, but it just does. That's what we call it, dog head mountain. Now, a lot of people are saying, you know, "Why are you doing this? And why, why now? Why make this change?" Is because I'm tired. You know, it just. I'm tired of being the old me. I, I try to stray away from that in senior year, all that stuff. I try to stay away from that in college. It it didn't work out because I just had, I, I don't know, I couldn't. It was, it was pretty tough on me and I try to be different. I try to be someone who I'm not and it's really difficult because you're trying to be someone you have no idea who they are. And the only way I can do that is if I can completely change myself. I can't, I can't be the old me anymore. Um, I need to be more outgoing. The only people who can see a different me are people like, like my friends, Raymond, Dreams, Caleb. They know how differently I act. They don't know who I act personally because if they did, probably won't even hang out with me in real life honestly I wouldn't even do it myself but I I, I need a change I, I can't stay the same anymore it's it's not fun trust me but that's just how it is now a lot of people have been proud of me. A lot of people have changed their perspective of me. And I, and I appreciate that very much. I really appreciate that. But this is, this is exactly how I want it to be. I'm going through this operation. Now that you have changed that. And I am going to make a change in my life. Marking these days, these six weeks, maybe even seven now, people probably on it now. But these, these weeks will change the rest of my years, and it's gonna be 